Hey guys, this is Girl in the Dorm, and today I'll be walking you through how I package Etsy sticker orders. And we're just going to focus on the pretty vinyls and not look at the unmade bed, because I'm going to be honest with you, I rarely make my bed. I probably should, but um, that's that's probably pretty accurate to what it normally looks like. So the first thing you'll need is an envelope. I get the craft envelopes in a pack of 50, and this is a seven by five. That's a seven, five, that's a five. We tried. And I originally learned about these through another YouTuber, but for the life of me, I cannot find them. And then the second thing I have is these plastic containers to put the stickers in just so they look a little nicer and packaged when they're delivered. And these are actually like marketed as candy bags. And these are a set of 200 and they are a four by six. I'm not blessed with the ability to remember amounts or sizes very well, so that's why I keep looking to the side, is because I had to write it down for myself to make sure I told you guys right. And then they also came with these little stickers, which is just so cute, and I think add a nice little extra touch. And then, of course, I like to decorate the envelope just to give it a little personal touch, which is, you know, the whole reason people shop on Etsy is for that personal touch and to support small businesses. So I embrace the glitter pen because everything is truly better with glitter. As I can tell you, because occasionally when I get really bored in class, I have been known to write in glitter pen. And silly me, forgot the most important thing, which is the actual product. So today I'm going to be using the sticker that I made this chillin' llama, and then I'm gonna show you how I package it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is decorate the envelope. And yes, if you're wondering, my desk does not normally look this clean. It's not that messy normally, but I did chuck a bunch of stuff off. So when it looks pleasant for this. So first thing I do is I usually just put a little thank you on this top part right here. And then I'll put little hearts around it. Ah, uh, come on, please, glitter pen. Do not die on me because I love you so much. I wonder if it doesn't like the surface I'm writing on. That's my guess. We're gonna try something real quick. Once I find what I'm looking for. I think this mat, it's like kind of squishy and I don't think it's appreciating that. So we're gonna try again and hope it's not my glitter pen dying because then I will be so sad for me. Ooh, this is not looking promising. Oh, I might be glitter penless. I don't know if I'm meant to survive in the world. And this is where you slowly look through your stuff and see, because this is my class binder, see what looks like it matters versus doesn't. And then we're also just embarrassed because when I'm looking at some of this stuff, I realize my professor is correcting my ability to spell like basic words. Okay, so it seems to work now. It just seemed to be blocked. And I kid you not, the way I unblocked it is I just went like this and just kind of stabbed it and waited for ink to come out. I mean, could that have turned out very differently with ink all over me? Sure, but I mean, what's the fun if there's not a little risk? Okay, theoretically, there we go. I was about to say, I'm going to be a little embarrassed at this rate if that didn't work. As you've noticed, Multitasking is clearly not one of my skills, so while I'm writing this, I wasn't able to talk because with my ability, I probably managed to misspell the word thank you. So here I just usually write thank you, and then I'll put little hearts around it just to give it a little extra oomph, especially because it doesn't take very long to do but it makes it look like you put a lot more care into it without having to do a ton of extra work. And then one thing I'm thinking about doing is either printing off little cards on just regular paper with my logo and what platforms I'm on, because I currently live in an apartment where I can print in black and white for free. Because I consider getting business cards, 
but they're so expensive. And right now I'm not at the point in my business where it makes sense for me to go around buying business cards because that is a decent enough investment. So right now, at least I just usually put my store name, which is at girl in the dorm right here. But I am considering, sorry, I probably won't be able to spell it if I try to talk while doing this. I say while continuing to talk. One second. There we go. So that's what I usually do. Just very cute and very simple. I know the lighting isn't great on this, but I think you get the idea. Let's see if that helps. No, I think it made it worse. But you get the idea. It's just a simple little thing. But it currently looks backwards, I realize, because of how I'm filming. But you get the point. But eventually, I do want to either make little cards with all the social media platforms I'm on and put them in the envelope itself. But I just have not got around to designing one, which I need to do. So then I just take the little cute plastic container, pop my sticker in it. Yes, that very important thing that I told you is pretty key to this whole packaging process, but almost forgot to mention. It's okay, I would have realized it at some point. And I just plop it in like this. I try to get it straight just because it annoys me if it's not, but it's not really that big of a deal. There we go. Sometimes you have to work your way down, shimmy a little. And then normally, depending on the thing, I don't like to put it all the way down because then the thank you is really low on the bottom. So I usually like to go about halfway and I'll just stick a thank you stamp on stamp. Um, this is not a stamp. I mean, although there are the stamps you put stamps you put on envelopes. So I'm gonna give myself partial credit, even though that's not what this is. So then I take my little sticker that says thank you, tape it on, stick it on. I guess it's not tape it. And there you go. Super cute. And then I plop it in here. Yes, that lovely card. I felt the need to show you again, like you hadn't seen it two seconds ago. And then the great thing about this is it's adhesive. So all I need to do is rip this off and just stick it closed and address it. And I am ready to go. I don't know why I said it that high, but um, we're just going to go with it. And this was just an example because I don't currently have an order for this product. But once you get an order, you can select your order tabs. And there's a tab at the top of your Etsy screen if you're doing it on your computer that gives you shipping options. So you can buy shipping through them. And you can also look up on Google what Etsy shipping prices are for items, opposed to like going to a UPS store yourself and paying for postage because it is a bit cheaper. Like not a ton cheaper. It used to be, I want to say like 60 cents to ship a letter and now it's gone up to 64, but at the post office to buy a stamp, it's 68. So you do save a little bit of money and every little bit counts. I hope you guys liked this video and found it at least semi-informative. And I hope to see you all in my next video. So bye for now.